Lois, thought you might be in the mood for a classic. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Here comes Peter on the clothesline, but his name's not Peter, really. Spider-Man! Merry Christmas, Cop Help. This is breaking news. Scarlet Fever has just broken out among the students and staff at CHS and all over Cop Help. The background of Scarlet Fever is that it, it's an exotoxin medicated disease arriving from Group A beta hemolytic streptococcal infection. Ordinarily, Scarlet Fever evolves from a tonsillar focus, although the rash develops fewer, in fewer than 10 cases of strep throat. The site of bacterial replication tends to be inconspicuous compared to the possible dramatic effects of released toxins. Exotoxin medicated streptococcal infections range from localized skin disorders to the systematic rash of scarlet fever to the uncommon but highly lethal streptococcal toxic shock syndrome. Usually the site of group A beta hemolytic streptococcal replication in scarlet fever are the tonsils and pharynx. Clinically indistinguishable, scarlet fever may follow streptococcal infection of the skin and soft tissues, surgical wounds, and surgical, surgical. The organism, oh wait. The H, the statistics of scarlet fever normally occur in children from four to eight years old. Most times, whenever children reach the age of 10, 80% of have dealt, developed lifelong protective antibodies against streptococcal pregenic exotoxins. Scarlet fever is rare with children underneath two years old because the presence of maternal antioxidant antibodies and lack of prior sensitationism. By the way, I'm Mr. Hillary, and I keep popping up this because Haley is unable to pronounce words. Do you know what scarlet fever is? The basics of it? Okay, Paige, go. Okay. Hi, I'm Paige, and we're still talking about the breakout of scarlet fever. Have you heard about that? No, I haven't. Okay, well, scarlet fever has broken out all over Cop Hub. Um, are you aware of what scarlet fever is? It's okay if you don't. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, it is bad. It has a lot of different symptoms, and uh, they include sore throat, nausea, just your basic not feeling well type of thing. But what we're talking about right now is how it is spread. It's so easy. Just touching someone or someone not covering their mouth while they're coughing or sneezing can spread it like that, and it spreads all over a city. Or drinking after someone else is drinking it, eating after someone else, it's garlic fever. Okay. <laughs> now, do you know what scarlet fever is? Um, oh gosh, I used to know what it was. Well, it's bad. You know, you have the whole <laughs> symptoms where you just feel sick and you just feel all lethargic and everything. Sore throat, swollen tongue, it's just bad. Um, but it looks like you're Christmas shopping right now. Are you aware that this is a bad time to catch it with all the holiday chair and you could just get sick like that? It spreads so easily just by touching someone. You can get it right away. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> the prevention is pretty easy though. Just, you know, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Wash your hands a lot and don't share food or drink with many people. And it's just easily prevented. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me know. Hi. Hi. Can I ask you something really quick? Yeah. Have you heard about the outbreak of scarlet fever? No. No? Okay, it's bad. Why is that? Because there's like a lot of bad symptoms and you can be sick for yeah. seven to ten days. Really now? Yeah, really. Very, really. Um, but, lucky for everybody in Cop Hall, there's antibiotics to cure it now. Such as penicillin VK, penicillin G benzanthine, urethrosine, and uh, oh amoxicillin, anthropocin, anthromestin, and anthromuscorin. Okay. But I just thought we should let you know. Alright. I can be really quick, I promise. Alright. Alright. Have you heard about the outbreak of scarlet fever? No, I have not. Well, it's breaking out all over in Cop Hill. And since it's person-to-person -person contact, and it's very easily contagious, we just wanted to make you aware of it, and make you aware of the way to prevent it. The symptoms include, oh, do you know what scarlet fever is? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, just checking, because some people don't. Anyways, prevention methods. Covering your mouth while you're coughing or sneezing, washing hands after wiping or blowing your nose, 
and uh, basically just wash your hands with anything. You know, if you think you may have contacted any of the symptoms, which include sore throat, fever, vomiting, rash, peeling, then please contact your doctor right away. You can be treated very easily with antibiotics. So, I'm sorry. If, if you've contacted it in your youth, it causes heart disease. Really? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really and good. Mainly when I was growing up, you couldn't get life insurance if you had it. That's horrible. Oh, that so, is bad. I'm sure it's still that way, but. Hello, is there any chance I could take 30 seconds of one of your guys' time? Thank you so much. This. Pharmacy. Could you tell us your experiences with scarlet fever? Um, like what do you mean? Have you had any patients come in that had the scarlet fever? Looking for medicine mm -hmm. or anything? My it, son's actually had it. Is it? Oh, wow. It's, it's a strep oh. infection. Yeah. Is it a very uh, likely thing? Do you get it a lot or is it just kind of unusual now? Um, it happens more often than what people expect. Like I said, a lot of times it's strep, so a lot of people don't really realize that when you have strep, that you can also have the rash. Oh, so a lot of people have it at the same time and they don't mm -hmm. even know it? Yeah. Is it easy to cure and prevent and stuff like that? Not really with prevention. Like I said, it's a bacterial infection, so usually it's antibiotic. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, was it bad with your son? How long did it last? If I can ask that, please. Um, usually it was about, I think, like seven to ten days. Really? So it was quick and mm -hmm. it yeah. was just. So he wasn't even complaining of a sore throat. And now um, he's okay? Because I heard oh, yeah. that you could have heart problems yes, when you're older. Severe, yes. Really? It Is that likely? Or? It's in, the, in a severe case. Like I said, his is very minor. Light, minor. Thank you so much for Thank your time. You. Okay. I'm eating pop tart. Okay, go. The age. What's this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pharyngeal. Focus. Although the rash develops in fewer than 10% of syndrome. <laughs> Pathophysiology. Usually the sites of group A beta hemolytic streptococcal replication in scarlet fever are the tonsils and pharynx. <laughs> a little bit. No, I totally I like thinking, killed myself. Wait, can you do a blooper reel? Can I what? Yeah, yeah we're still gonna do that. Well, I'll wait, put my brother to put together. Hey guys, what? I need to approve of this before yeah, yeah, we put it on there. Yeah. Yeah. First on bloopers, don't fail this Miss Please. I can't pronounce these oh. words. They're hard. Oh. I mean, we Who hard. names a disease streptococcal? <laughs> Oh, it's a strep throat. It's called strep throat, child. It's a strep. I don't know what I'm doing. My chest. Yeah. I'm just a little bit. Chapstick. My lips are really tired. Oh. 